Hello and welcome to Reality Check. I'm Xu Qinduo. Despite much Western opposition, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz's visit to China has succeeded in energizing the relationship between the world's second largest economy and the EU's most influential country. The recent trip came amongst fierce debate over Germany's economic ties with China, with accusations of so-called German dependence on China, accusations which have been largely exaggerated. And always remember, dependencies of this kind, all of us are mutual. The Chinese companies and the Chinese markets are as dependent on us as we seem to be on them. China has been Germany's largest trade partner for six consecutive years. Bilateral trade last year grew over 15% from 2020, when German economists noted that around 3% of the country's workforce, or over 1 million jobs, come from exports to China. One German businessman said that despite all odds and challenges, China remains unrivaled in terms of market size and market growth opportunities for many German companies. Speaking at a recent financial forum in Hong Kong, Colm Keller, chair of UBS, the world's biggest wealth manager, said, quote, We are not reading the American press. We actually buy the China story, adding that global bankers are all very pro-China. In a nutshell, the talk of decoupling from China is misleading, and Mr. Scholz's China trip was a wise decision not only for Germany, but also for the world. In the West, there has been growing out-of-control noise about ideological and geopolitical competition between the West and China. Short visit has set the record straight, renewing the importance of continuous investment and trade among nations. Reliability and trust, these two values play an important role in German and Chinese cultures, said Mr. Schultz, adding that these values form the basis for partnerships. Chinese President Xi Jinping said Schultz's visit will enhance trust between Beijing and Berlin and will enable more cooperation. With energy shortages, food insecurity, climate change, the Ukraine conflict, and a looming Cold War 2.0 from the U.S., a grave question for all of us is, can we work together to face these challenges, or will we continue to engage in political fights while the world is on fire? Cooperation begets partnership followed by stability and prosperity. Picking ideological fights is easy, but what are the consequences? Instability, confrontation, and the possibility of military conflict, or even a third world war in which everyone suffers. There are no winners in such a fight. Mr. Shaw's China trip is the first by a major Western leader since the pandemic began. The message can't be clearer. Responsible powers must join hands to improve and enhance global trade and investment, leading to greater peace and stability, instead of focusing on differences which only serve to further divide the world.